Hey everybody, Keith O'Brien here from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Uh, today's video is going to be about, we'll call this the blueprint for creating a social media money machine. Now, social media is a massive, massive industry and there's tons of great courses and whatnot to get in and really learn any one of the specific things I'm going to talk about. And it's easy to get lost in these things because the information is overwhelming. But we're going to kind of break it down for you today give you a very a, a specific but broad-based overview of how to create consistent ongoing traffic um, so you can develop relationships with people that create over time some leads and customers for yourself. So we're going to do this. Today is going to talk about the distinction and the philosophy of really focusing things in on a hub site. So for example here, what I'm calling a hub site would be your website or your blog where you're going to spend most of your time consistently updating your dynamic content. So for my situation, my hub is my blog. And I leave, for the most part, I leave all of my campaign traffic back to that. All the things that we put out on the web in all of these situations lead back to my hub. You know, with, with campaign-based uh, marketing, if it's pay-per-click, you may want to generate that specifically to a landing page, but when we get into pay-per-click in a second, people and the search engines love relevant, unique content. And so the likelihood of getting a good placement by leading them back to a very specific, unique content like your hub, much, much greater. So we're gonna start with the big one, which is Facebook. 300 million plus people on Facebook now, it's the, it's the largest social media. Uh, environment and it's just built so virally from a natural organic standpoint if you're not creating a presence on Facebook then you're really missing out everybody's on it now are you creating a presence you know does your profile specifically develop content and brand you as an expert in your field or do you still have the same profile that you did when you first started Facebook which is probably uh, a lot about your family and, and interests and stuff like that. That stuff is important, but you need to make sure that you go back to your profile and design it so that you're attracting the type of people that you actually want. But Facebook is huge. Now I'm going to bounce over to this, Better Networker, which is like Facebook for network marketers. Uh, designed by Mike Dillard. Uh, and if you're specifically in the network marketing industry or you market to people in the network marketing industry, you got to be on Better Networker. It's just, oh, the, the number of users is much, much smaller, 20,000 or so, but it's all network marketers or people in the related industry. Facebook, leading back to your hub. So people generally don't want to go from an advertisement to a landing page unless it's a specifically targeted campaign. But if you go from a, some sort of ad or article directly to a landing page that isn't entirely that relevant, you're going to lose a lot of leads. LinkedIn. You cannot ignore it. 47 million people, but the average user has income of over a net an income of over $100,000 a year, and it's consistently growing. Uh, generally, much more of a professional person. So, depending on who you want to target, I know lots of internet marketers that spend all of their time just on LinkedIn, and it's a tremendous resource. But if you're looking to cast a wide net, you're missing out if you're not on LinkedIn as well. Articles. Article marketing is one of the most amazing opportunities to put out value-based content onto the web and have it spider web out in lots of different forms. If you write good content, your articles can get picked up by their bloggers, um, other people that provide content, and you can get uh, backlinks and trackbacks to you on a very consistent basis. Again, leading back to your hub, because if they like your information, like the value that you put out an article, then they're gonna love what you put out on your, on your blog. Video, and I've highlighted YouTube. Obviously, YouTube is the biggest, but it's not the only one. It's not the only video marketing site in the world. There's 35 um, pretty active video marketing sites. YouTube, if you haven't set up your own YouTube channel, and you wanna use video to market your, uh, your services and products, what are you doing? YouTube is now the second largest search engine in the world. Second only to Google. Think about that. More people are going on YouTube to search for content than any other place in the world other than Google. That's really powerful. 
and there's some techniques that you can do into YouTube, set your profile page up to mirror your other profiles. Have it be professional, have it be driven and designed to support the market that you want to attract. And if you want to go really go for it, use a service like Traffic Geyser. Traffic Geyser is a video submission service that is phenomenal. You can, and as long as it takes you to put up one video on YouTube, you can submit it to Traffic Geyser and they'll automatically submit it to 30, all 35 uh, of the video submission sites. And your video is going to spiral out into the web in lots of different formats. Classified ads. There's tons of places to do this from, from Craigslist to free ads. Um, lots of places to post free ads and obviously tons of places to post paid for ads. Again, leading back to value, if it's a specific campaign that you want to drive traffic for just for a specific campaign, you may want to go to a capture page uh, that's targeted for whatever you're advertising for. Otherwise, send them back to your hub. Value, value, value first to your customer. And PPC. Now with pay-per-click advertising, it's an entirely other world that you really have to take some time to study and learn about, otherwise you're just going to blow your money. With what's happening with pay-per-click, which is interesting the last week or so, is Google is really cut, uh, cracking down on lead capture pages. And so that same content, if, if you're part of a, a program like uh, MLM Lead System Pro or Seven Figure Networker uh, or um, Sponsor Daddy, you know, those are all network marketing lead generation programs, you are gonna have to get a lot more creative on our capture pages because Google is starting not to like the capture page that looks like you know another 5,000 of them that are out there. You need unique, user-driven, relevant content. Uh, but pay-per-click is so strong. Again, leading back to a specific campaign, supporting with your blog. So what's great about this is as you get your feelers out there and as you get your spider webs, your tentacles out into the, into the internet stratosphere, over time this stuff starts to build. What if you were to commit to doing an article every two days? You know, what if you were committed to doing a video even once a week you know, for, for a part-time person or get more aggressive for someone that wants to earn a full-time income? Over the course of a year, that's 100, 150 articles that you write out on the net. Once a week, submitting it to a service like Traffic Geyser that's one video times 52 times 35 video submission sites that are out on the web over the course of the year. That gives you so many feelers out there, all directing people back to your hub, back to your blog or site. Now, the, the, best, the, the biggest part of this, you better have great, high-quality content on your blog that's relevant, that people actually want to listen to and read about and connect with. You do this and you put this in the place, over the course of some time, you're going to start developing a following, like Seth Godin's Tribes, uh, the book, which is phenomenal. You're going to start, start to develop a following, the people that are connected with you and your work, and that leads to ongoing, consistent leads, and always, always leads to new customers. This is Keith O'Brien from AuthenticNetworker.com. We'll look forward to talking to you again soon.